Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another video for you guys. This is going to be interesting. I came across this article a few days ago from Leonard Snart to Laurel Lance, the 15 most heartbreaking Arrowverse deaths. Now, there's been similar articles to this where it's like top 20 deaths, top 25 in terms of ranking how brutal and how crucial they are to the shows, but they've lowered this one down to 15. So I'm curious to see who's not included in this and how this is ranked because there's been a variety of deaths that have occurred that are... Eh, they're emotional, but there's others that are, like, really, really insane. Like, really, you killed off that character? Really? And, you know, we'll we get all that later, because I'm assuming some of them will be included in here. But I'm curious to see how this list goes. So we'll see here. So we're going to get into this now, and I'm going to react and respond to this list. If you like the format of this video, want me to do more videos similar to this, let me know in the comments below. Let's uh, let's start off and let's get into it. Let's start scrolling. Leonard Snart is... Wow. I wasn't expecting Snart to start off the list especially with him being in the title of the article but okay like i thought it would have been like higher up on the shocking because literally this is like crazy because start's death was shocking for sure i mean like then again Wentworth miller i think at the time had some other stuff going on in terms of scheduling so it was surprising he signed up for the show but he was really well received in the flash and then he was a pretty big get in terms of the legends of tomorrow when the show was first starting and the fact they killed him off like, not right away, you know, at the end of the season, was pretty crazy. Now, of course, Wentworth Miller has came back and played a variety of different uh, versions of Snart in the Arrowverse, but interesting to see the list starts off with him, because people were, like, quite shocked and surprised I was when he was killed off. But, uh, okay, starting at... Really? Eddie is number 14? I would have thought he would have at least been in the top 10. At least I would have thought, because, I mean, in terms of shock, I did not expect for them to kill eddie thawne in season one because i mean he was so beloved by a lot of people and people were like quite surprised they went that direction in terms of the season one finale and of course he's came back several times he actually came back recently like last week on the flash in season eight so it's kind of crazy that okay he's not even in the top 10 but okay <laughs> i thought he would have been at least in the top 10 because i figured eddie would have had him included because he was in that image up at the top so i really would have thought that he would have been uh you know, higher up on the list. Come on, keep us scrolling. Tommy. Okay. I w once again, I would have thought it would have been in top 10. I'm curious to see. Okay. So you have snart, you have Eddie, and now you have Tommy 15, 14, 13. Who is above them? Like there's only a few people that really should be above them in terms of, you know, their death having some sort of impact in the show because, okay. So who are you going to have above these three? I mean, <laughs> cause snart's death, was really showing how far the character is in terms, of, in terms of growth and sacrifice. And then with Eddie's death, same thing in terms of him, he's, him willing to sacrifice himself to stop, you know, Eobart Thon. Tommy's death, of course, you know, really have an impact on Oliver and Laurel and how that really shaped Oliver in terms of the, uh, continuing on in Arrow Season 2. Okay, so who you have above the, uh, these characters? I'm really, I'm really going to be Catherine Hamilton Kane. I would have put her lower than the other than the than the three we've had so far i definitely want to put her lower i mean i would have started her on the list in my opinion compared to what we've had so far she definitely should not be i get it because it's really emotional for um for mary and it, of course it's emotional for her husband um commander kane but at the same time it it wasn't a giant turning point for the series it was a giant turning point for mary and everything and there was some lasting impacts but i personally would not have put Catherine above the three we've had so far in my personal opinion quentin okay quentin's death was quite shocking the way they the way they shot it too was kind of bizarre because just the way they went about explaining his death and everything and, and i honestly thought that quentin would have died a long time ago personally and before he actually did but um yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty insane. But I feel like at a certain point, I didn't know what what they were really doing with Quentin too much. I mean, he's went through the character went through so much, so I wasn't really sure what else they would have done. I like I said, I re I really thought they would have killed him off sooner. But okay, Sarah. Now, of course, Sarah has come back. So this the reveal was shocking in the season three premiere, like because the way they ended season two and the way they progressed her character in season two and how. We learned what happened to her and, and, the, and the flashbacks, including her, and then, of course, in present day, and then starting off season three, a certain direction. We're thinking season three is going to go a certain way in terms of Arrow because of the dynamic of the characters. And all of a sudden, she dead. So, but she, she was brought back. So it wasn't like a huge thing where we, we lost the character, you know, forever or whatever. But 
it, it was shocking for sure that her death. It, it was, I, was it heartbreaking? Yeah, but then they brought the character back. So it wasn't like a huge, huge thing. Rip Hunter, okay. Yep, uh, I, I honestly wasn't sure what they were going to do with Rip Hunter at a certain point on Legends. Of course, I stopped watching the show, but I did see his death. I was watching the show at the time. And um, I think people were actually surprised that he signed on for Legends because I think he was working on another show at the time. I'm not really sure. Like, I have no idea. But I, I remember hearing that he was signed on to another show. And so they were surprised that he actually signed on to do Legends. But um, I liked his character. I, I really, you know... Really uh, wish he maybe would have stuck, out, stuck around a little bit more, but they went a different direction with the show, and I think he had to leave due to contract stuff, or maybe he just he just couldn't do all the stuff he was doing. But, uh, okay, yeah, I'll say it was heartbreaking. I wasn't expecting his death when it came, but it made sense in terms of, I guess, the actor and, uh, and what the show was trying to do. Okay, I'll give them this. I'll give them this, because right as she's like, I know. No, no, Oliver, I know you're the Green Arrow. I know you're the vigilante, not, not Green Arrow, he wasn't Green Arrow at the time, but I know you're the vigilante, I know you're the hood, I know you're, you're the arrow, whatever, and then right as soon, like literally, a scene or two after she tells Oliver, I know what you've been doing, I've known for a while, she gets killed. Now, he did bring her back via crisis, which was very nice, but in terms of the longevity of her death, and only seeing her a little bit here and there in terms of whatever the case may be in terms of a flashback or in terms of an alternate reality or in the case of like the crossover invasion where Oliver is ha imagining in his head and he sees his mom there and everything. Yeah, yeah, pretty brutal. But the fact that they actually killed her off and kept her like dead in terms of the timeline for a long time was pretty crazy. I'll give you that. that that's a good choice. Henry, yeah, <laughs> the dude, he gets out of jail and then he exits. John Wesley's ship is like, yeah, I'm going to show up and I'm going to, you know, and then, you know, I'm going to get out of prison and then I'm, I'm out. And he's gone for the majority of season two after he gets out of prison. Sorry, son, I got to go. Then he comes back and then he dies by Zoom. So Barry loses his mom when he's a, he's a kid and everything. And he sees the blur and he's at the yellow, the man in yellow. And then his dad gets out of prison after being, you know, put in prison for the, the, the for killing his wife when he actually never did it. And then he leaves, and then he comes back and dies. But then they turn it around, and then he gives John Wesley's ship the ability to be Jay Garrick. So they kind of remedied that, but unfortunately, Henry just doesn't have a lot to do. I, I wish I would have... I wish there was a way we could have seen a version of The Flash where Henry was around a little bit more in Season 2, in my opinion. I would have liked to have seen that. Um, Nora. Ah, okay. Uh, no, she should be lower in the list, in my personal opinion. Um... Definitely not number six material, in my opinion. Look, we have another version of Nora in the timeline post-crisis. Uh, but I personally don't think the original Nora dying... I, we kind of figured this wasn't going to be the end in terms of Nora. This is this version of Nora is being erased. I really don't think it was that really that heartbreaking. <laughs> There's actually a lot of people that dislike Nora. So, <laughs> but um, I'm glad that they brought back at least a version of Nora with Jessica Parker Kennedy. I really, I liked, I actually liked Nora for the most part in season five, but a lot of people didn't. But I didn't find it really heartbreaking because I figured, okay, this version of Nora is dead. This is heartbreaking for the characters, but this is not really heartbreaking for us necessarily because there will probably be another version of Nora or, you know, they're going to, they're going to have kids in the future. We, we know that Barry and Iris have kids in the future. Come on, Oliver, you know, I would have thought this would have been higher personally, but, um, okay. Number five, well, technically he's still the specter from what we're understanding. He's still, he can still be around in, in some sort of version of the specter, but the fact that they killed him off, what, twice <laughs> crisis first Oliver and then the specter Oliver, but they're, but they're saying that the, potentially there is a specter Oliver still out there or something. I'm not really sure to that effect, but I thought Oliver would have been higher on the list. I really thought he would have been higher on the list, but okay. 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 Barry Allen Earth 90. Like this was quite, this was quite shocking. So he, he was, he was introduced briefly in else worlds. He then was just gone. And then we find him on, um, the, 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 what was it? The cosmic treadmill or whatever we find him. And he, and we've been hearing for a while, Barry Allen has to die in crisis. And the way the monitor was talking, Grant Gustin, his version of Barry Allen has to die in crisis. No, he's like, the monitor never said the, the, the version. And that, that, that shot there of him there is like, ride the lightning kid, keep riding the lightning. Um, but it was really interesting that they brought this version of Barry back from the nineties flash show and killing him off. But unfortunately his death was null and void because... <laughs> It didn't stop everything. 
Earth One, everything was destroyed except for a few heroes and um <laughs> and Lex Luthor. <laughs> and Lex Luthor before they could uh, remedy and fix what the Anti-Monitor did. But uh, he sacrificed himself. He tried to stop. I mean, at one point it did stop things, but ultimately it, it his, you know, death, you know, didn't really do too much. <sighs> Beth Kane should not be up this high, <laughs> in my opinion. Beth, Beth's, like, this version of Beth that was brought in post-crisis, definitely switched up Batwoman season one. It definitely did for the, for the uh, small amount of time that she was in it. I know her, her death again is, is not heartbreaking. I'm sorry. I do not agree with this at all. <laughs> I really feel she should be, she, she shouldn't even be on this list in my opinion. No, 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 not in my opinion. Okay. If you're putting Mark Stein as number two, Beth should not be number three. I'm sorry <laughs> because, Oh my God, Martin, I was shocked when Stein died. I could see it coming in terms of the actor Victor Garber wanting to, uh, I guess he wanted to do Broadway or he wanted, like, he was wanting to do more stuff and he couldn't do to his schedule. So killing him in crisis, uh, crisis on, on uh, earth X was brutal, but I understood why they did it. I understood why they did it, but man, that, that was really hard to watch. <laughs> that was really hard to watch. I have a feeling I know what number one is. Yeah, I figured Laurel Lance, Earth One Laurel Lance, I figured as much. Yeah, I've already done a video discussing my thoughts on this <laughs> and responding to uh, Mark Guggenheim, who made the decision to kill Laurel, saying her story was just done, bunch of horse shit. We see Quentin behind her and, and Oliver behind her. I think that's Felicity behind her. I don't know who that is behind her, but anyways, in that shot there, but... Killing Laurel um, was a big mistake in my opinion. There's a lot of people that have said that it, it they they liked the death because, you know, the way they handled the character was so shit, and they really should not have rushed her training everything. Hey, I agree. I agree. Like, the, here's here's why it hurts more is because literally, they brought back, in a sense, well, they introduced right after her death, Earth Two Laurel, Black Siren. And they basically, they basically made her what Laurel should have been in the first place. Not, not a villain, but made Black Siren into what Black Canary should have been from Earth 1. But they completely botched how they handled Laurel in, on Earth 1 from Arrow. They botched how they introduced the character. Because realistically, they could have introduced Laurel in Season 1, not just as the ex, but also as somebody who was dealing with the grief of losing Oliver and her sister by maybe training and potentially starting to fight crime because her steady's gone to shit. They could have went a whole different direction with Earth 1 Laurel, but then went the direction they did and they fucked it up. So yeah, um, this list, I definitely agree with some bits, Laurel and Stein, but having number three, Beth, I just don't agree with that at all. Like, I just don't agree with that. But there's some other ones as well. I, I really feel with having Tommy, Eddie, and um, let me actually pull it up to the top here. Having Snart, Eddie, and Tommy as 15, 14, and 13 just doesn't make sense to me. Um, they should have been higher on the list. Um, and then Catherine Hamilton Kane being right above them just doesn't make any sense to me personally. Um, Quentin and Lance, uh, Sarah Lance and Quentin Lance probably should have been lower than these three. But m maybe people will say that Quentin deserves to be above Eddie and Snart and, um, and Merlin, Tommy. But I would say Sarah Lance needs to be lower because she, her death isn't really, she's not dead for long. Um, some of this list I agree with, others I don't. But yeah, so that's my video. What do you guys think of the list? Do you agree with the list? And if you could take these 15 characters that are on this list and you rank them personally and how you would have ranked them, I'm curious to know how you guys would have ranked these deaths. I'm curious to know, guys. So let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you want to see me do uh, more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.